EDIUS has a bunch of settings up here under settings. You have system settings, which are specific to your computer or whatever computer you're running them on. And you've got user settings, which are basically preferences for how you like the thing to be. I've got a bunch of user settings that I particularly like and I set all the time, but you don't have to. You can just leave it as it came out of EDIUS. User settings lets you do things like change the buttons that are on the timeline and that sort of thing. On the system settings, there isn't very much to change. Obviously, this is where you see the project presets, which we've already made up. The other important things are really to do with hardware. So if I come down to the hardware setting, you notice you have two headings, preview device and device preset. Preview device is, imagine you have a different piece of hardware inside of your computer and you're using that to put a picture out to a TV screen. Well, this is where you have to activate it. I don't have anything installed on this computer at the moment. I actually do have a black magic card in there, but I haven't installed the drivers. Now when I do, it'll pop up there. Device preset is the way you would capture things. Let's go back to this preview device and set that up. So I've got a black magic gizmo in this machine. I've only just installed the machine, so that isn't installed at all. So what I'm gonna do is come out of this and I'm gonna install that black magic device. I've got the drivers that were current at the time I was making this, 10.9.7, which I downloaded from the black magic site, and I'm just going to install those. And again, for black magic, essentially you just click on it and click next, 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 and then reboot at the end of it. Now I've rebooted, I'll go back into EDIUS. Now you might be saying, hang on David, you just shut EDIUS down so you could install those Blackmagic drivers, but you'd already made a project, so why is it when you go back into it, there isn't a project there for you to open? If you go into EDIUS and you make a project and you don't do anything, which is what I did, when you come out of it, that project gets deleted. You have to do something for there to be a project. So I'm going to have to just click on this and make up a new project again. Don't have to run the preset wizard, of course, because I've got some settings, so I'm just going to choose the setting I want, give it a name... And then once again, I'm into EDIUS. Now let's go and look at these hardware settings again. So I'll just go to settings, system, hardware, preview device. And now you can see I've got two options. What I've got here is the black magic device I've got plugged into this machine here. Tick on that and now go OK. And you should get output from your project out to a monitor connected onto the black magic device. It's been like that in EDIUS for the last few versions, in EDIUS 5 and 4 and 3 and so on it was different, but that's how you get an output device working. Basically, put in the drivers, go to settings, tick the box. If you choose some settings that that device will not manage, so I've put in something that only does high definition, and you'll notice it pops up with a little message down here, which is essentially saying the preview device you've got, the black magic device, can't cope with your project settings. Fair enough, I know it can't. If you don't like that message, you can actually turn it off here, just untick that and then that message won't turn up again. That's how you get an output. How do you capture stuff? 